What's your ADAT input doing? Nothing? Make the most of it. Introducing the new Focusrite OctoPre Mark II and OctoPre Mark II Dynamic. Two great ways to make the most of your ADAT input. Focusrite, the Mic Pre company. Good morning, we're here at the 2010 NEM show and we're looking at some new Vox amplifiers which warrant the AC moniker, but they're a little different, as Dave Clark's going to explain. We have a 15 and a 30, but not your standard AC 15 and standard AC 30. Hi. So basically we have the new AC30 VR and new AC15 VR amplifiers. Now they have a solid state front end, but they have a, a valve reactor power stage. Now what we're actually aiming for with these amplifiers is to have the same output level as their two bigger brothers. So you have a 30 watt amplifier and a 15 watt amplifier with very, very, very loud and very surprising sounds. These are excellent for recording, they're also excellent for live performances. They've got an overall master volume, and on the 30 we've got a tone cut, sort of leaning towards the vintage side of things. Both have digital reverbs built in. Excellent sounding amplifiers. And because you have a, a valve reactor built in there, you can turn the level down for recording without compromising the sound? Absolutely. So we've got the technology built in, so as you're turning down the master volume, all the integrity of the sound is kept, so you're clipping the tube power stage, but the levels are reduced without affecting the overall sound. So how far does the 30 depart from the traditional AC30 in terms of control? I mean, it seems to have more knobs. It does. Basically, what we've done with this is we've got a very traditional normal channel. So you've got your gain and treble and bass with a very interactive uh, valve, uh, very interactive uh, tone stack. But then we've also got a second channel. Now, this is a foot switchable second channel. So you've got it clean, if you like, and you've got an overdrive channel. With the overdrive channel, you've got OD1, you've got OD2. OD1 is your kind of bluesy crunch. OD2 is a much higher gain sound. It's quite a surprising sound to have out of an AC30. You've got a full tone stack here, including treble, middle, and bass. So with the middle, you can really scoop out the mids and go for some quite chunky metal-type sounds. And then in the master section, like I say, you have a tone cut, you've got a master um, reverb, and also your master volume to so bring the levels down to uh, bedroom levels, if you like. OK, so what's missing on the 15-watt version? This is obviously smaller, less so complicated. So with the 15-watt version, what we have is actually, instead of having uh, independent tone stacks, it actually has a global tone stack. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same. You've got a normal, normal channel, overdrive channel with independent volume and gain controls, OD1, OD2. So again, bluesy crunch on OD1. OD2 is a much higher gain sound. Again very surprising sounds to be coming out of such a classic looking amplifier and then with a overall reverb and a, a master volume now the reverb and the channels are foot switchable so you can turn the reverb off and you can also channel switch all remotely and i guess these are going to be rather less expensive than the all two they certainly are that's the whole thing yeah these make these much much more accessible to people people who have not been able to afford ac30s have always aspired to ac30s can now afford uh, the classic look and still have the great box sound. So the big question is when are, when are they shipping? They are shipping I believe February so they've, they're, they're, on the, they're on the sea they're heading out to distribution as we speak so I think they're going to be in stores in February. Great thanks Dave. That's awesome thanks very much. Cheers.